Hi, this video is to show you how to put an employee on leave of absence. Um, the first thing that we do when an employee is going on leave of absence is we go into their employee record by going to the Teams, My Team, Employee Information, and we select that employee and we click on their information button to open up their record. Now, I've created a leave tab on my employee records uh, by going into the edit tabs and pulling in the information that I need for a leave of absence uh, instance. So on the leave tab, I have the date so I can see when they uh, began employment, et cetera. I have the personal information section, and this is where we're gonna change them from active to either, um, in my case, I have a status called leave of absence no pay and a leave of absence in pay. Um, for our demonstration, we're gonna say no pay. And then we can even update manager information if needed on this tab. So it depends on, you can build this tab, customize it however you need it. I'm going to click Save to um, go ahead and update uh, Dan's personal status, his account status, to leave of absence. Now, if you have the FMLA module, another thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add this or change his profile to a leave of absence profile. So I'm going to the search bar that's just underneath the save button on his employee record. And when I click in it, I get a listing and I'm just going to click profiles. That's going to open up these profiles down the side of the screen. And I'm going to look for this leave of absence profile. Okay, so when I get here, I just want to mark that he it has the leave of absence profile on his record. So I'm going to add that and I'm going to say save. And now that I've completed that, I can actually go up here to the top search bar once again and I can type in cases. And the first thing that comes up on my menu is cases with the, the breadcrumb that says leave underneath. So I'm going to click that and that takes me to an area in the company where I can actually create a new leave of absence case. So when I say new case, I'm going to pick Dan, because he's my, my guy that's gonna be on leave of absence. So like DB, there he is, Dan Brown. And I'm gonna put his reason in for his own serious health condition. I'm gonna put in the start date, um, which actually started, let's say I got notice of it today, but it actually started on Monday. And I can even add in a case number. So I'm gonna call it 21, 12, 100. And I'm gonna say okay. Estimated end date is required. I missed that because it does have the asterisk on there. So we think he's gonna be out, let's say six weeks. So I'm gonna start on the 27th and I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. I'm just gonna put that in as my estimated. Now this can be updated as you get information back. We'll say okay. So what that does now is that creates a leave of absence case where we can track information on Dan's uh, time away. So we've got all of his information here. We can put in the comments. Uh, it's even got a place where we can put his actual end date um, out there. And we can say, is this a disability or is this FMLA? I'm just gonna uncheck disability and leave it as FMLA. And then we've got an entitlement section where it's going to be doing a look back to see how many hours has he taken and how many hours is he allowed or does he have left in the balance. So once we have that page reviewed, I'm going to say save, and then I'm going to go up here to the time tab. And on the leave time section, which is this top box that we see here, we can uh, enter information on here as to whether or not it's a continuous, intermittent, intermittent weekdays, whatever we have. I'm just going to say it's continuous and that put in his schedule type. Is he a Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday? Whatever your schedules are. And um, I'm going to say this is his employee standard work day is the type that we're going to put in. And it automatically gives me eight hours for his standard work day. So we're going to leave that as so. I'm going to click save again. So it's going to save this information. 
Now I can actually come up here and I can say generate leave entries. And this works when you have the time module or the time uh, keeping feature in Scissor Tail. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to create. And as you can see down here below on the leave entries, it is actually putting in some FML items on those different days during the time frame for which he is scheduled to be away. So I can actually extend that and we can see all the way down through the seventh and it's skipping the weekend just as our schedule said to do. So I can save this page again and I can actually populate the timesheet from here. So I'll say populate timesheet and that puts Dan's FMLA time in his timesheet. So the managers will see that he's out on FMLA. I can even say view his time offs. Well, he, it also, according to our rules, is having him take vacation as much as he has available for those hours in the system. And then everything remaining is going to be considered unpaid time off. All right, so we have now put, um, sorry, we've now put Dan on leave of absence and um, everything will continue this way. We can continue to monitor his status throughout the process of his leave, and then uh, we'll have a separate video on how to return him from leave. Good luck.